This week is National Conscientious Object Day. Let us take some time to reflect on the decision taken by conscientious objectors and some of the reasons for this. A conscientious objector is someone who, for religious or moral reasons, objects to engaging in armed combat. During the Second World War, 72,354 people applied for conscientious objector status. Some Christian groups, such as the Quakers, believe that all disputes should be resolved peacefully and therefore are completely against war and violence under any circumstances. This attitude is supported by many religious and non-religious people alike and is called pacifism. In the Sermon on the Mount, Jesus tells us, I tell you not an eye for an eye, but turn the other cheek. Christians take this to mean that disputes should be resolved peacefully. Mahatma Gandhi famously said, an eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth makes the whole world blind and toothless. In the Bible, we learn about Jesus throwing the traders out of the temple. Christians believe it's acceptable and right to show anger and speak out against injustice, but it is never acceptable to direct violence against another person. Martin Luther King set a good example of this through his peaceful protests. Turn the other cheek. What does that really mean? It doesn't mean that we allow people to treat us with disrespect. But what it does mean is that we never seek revenge for those actions that are taken against us. We are an example of God's love and his tolerance. And Jesus showed us even when he was being persecuted that he always dealt with people with compassion, kindness and love. That's how we witness as Christians to that love of God which is different and calls on us to be different. So when we're challenged with injustice, when people treat us badly or even make things up about us, we're asked in return to show them kindness, understanding and patience and offer our prayers for them. You know, the Lord says that there's no greater joy than to give up our lives for our friends. That doesn't mean dying for them. What it means is offering our lives to them in service and in love, even at times when we've not been treated fairly. So be different, show the love of the Lord by being tolerant, patient and kind and never seeking revenge, for that only produces a bad world, a world without love. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dear Lord, we long to care deeply for all of your creation and to make a difference where we can. Help us to dedicate ourselves prayerfully and actively to banishing violence from our hearts, words, and deeds. Helping us become non-violent people to build non-violent communities that care for our common home. Amen. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.